Roman numerals on the clock. This is lesson 7.11. Roman numerals are Latin letters that were used in ancient Rome to represent numbers. Some clocks have Roman numerals instead of our regular numbers. And the numbers are in the same place as normal. They just look different. These are the Roman numerals 1 through 12. You might see them separated. An I is a 1 and two eyes is a two, three eyes means three. You might see them written inside two bars like this, all connected or separated. This is still the same thing. There's still Roman numerals. And you can see a pattern. Here's one, two, three. Then it has a one and a, and a V for five. So it's a one and a V. That means four. The V means five. Then it's got the V and the I is on this side for the one. See that? That's six. And then it's got a V-I, V-I-I, V-I-I-I. See, 5 and 3 is 8. X is 10. If the I is in front of the X, it's a 9. If it's after the X, it's an 11. X-I-I is a 12. See that? So they're in the same place as a regular clock. Both of these clocks say 145. The hour hand is in between the 1 and the 2, so it's not 2 yet. And the minute hand is pointing to the 9, and that's 45 minutes. It's 145. So it uses an I for a 1, a V for a 5, and an X for a 10. And Roman numerals use the letter I before a V as a number 4. And it shows 5 minus 1 equals 4. See? When the I is in front of a V or an X, it means subtract 1. See that? So, if it comes before a V or an X, we subtract a 1. 4 is an I and then a V. It's like saying 5 minus 1, 10 minus 1. See? If the I comes after the V or the X, we add 1, 2, or 3. So, a V with an I on the right side is a 5 plus a 1. This is a 5 minus a 1. See how it uses addition and subtraction? And there's other Roman numerals. There's an L and a C and an M and a D, but they're not on the clock. So we're not going to talk about those until later on. So let's see if we can tell what time this Roman numeral clock is telling us. The hour hand is on. Do you know? There's the three. That's got to be a four, right? And the minute hand is pointing straight up. That's the 12, so it's four o'clock. Let's look at this one. Can you tell what time this one is? The hour hand is pointing to the X. Remember, X means 10. And that is where the 10 is on a regular clock, isn't it? It's right there above the 9, right? So that's a 9, that's a 10. So we know the hours are 10. The minute hand is pointing straight up, so it's o'clock. All right. Now look at this Roman numeral clock. This is different. See how they're written, hugging the edge? So it's almost like these are upside down, aren't they? See that? This V is upside down because it's going like this. See? See how it's going if I turn my camera? So if you see a Roman numeral clock like this, just remember where the numbers are. That's a 12, that's a 3, that's a 6, that's a 9. Just like on a regular clock, 12, 3, 6, 9, okay? And just pretend that those are the regular numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, going all the way around. So if that's a 9, that must be the 10. So the hour is 10. And we can count by fives for the minutes, can't we? 5, 10, 15. It's 10, 15 on this Roman numeral clock. Let's try this one. Do you see where the hour hand's pointing? We know that's the 12, so that's gotta be the 11. And the hour hand is in between the 11 and 12, but it hasn't touched the 12 yet, so it's still at 11, right? And the minute hand is pointing to the nine, and that's five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So it's 11, 45, see? Let's try this one. The hour hand is pointing in between the 6 and the 7. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's in between the six and the seven. It hasn't gotten to the seven yet, so it's still in the sixes. All right, so it's six for the hour, and it's pointing to the nine, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. It's 645, all right? Let's try one last one. We can see the hour hand is pointing to the five. One, two, three, four, five. So we have five for the hour. We can count by tens, five, 10. So the time on this one is 510, all right? Roman numerals are used for science, like chemistry and stuff, and photography. It's even in page numbers in books. And kings and queens have had Roman numerals after their names, and, of course, some clocks, all right? So you'll learn more about Roman numerals when you get into third or fourth grade, all right? But these are the ones that are on a clock. And just remember, if you see an I to the left of the V, it's a 4. And if it's to the right of the V, it's a 6. And if the I is to the left of the X, it's a 9. And if it's to the right of the X, it's an 11. Okay? And they're all in the same place as a regular clock anyway. All right? That's it for time. We're going to go on to the next chapter, chapter 8, and we're going to talk about measurement. All right? I'll see you there. Bye.